Please consider subscribing, click the like button and notification bell. Creativity is defined as the use of imagination or original ideas to create something. In the past, creativity was reserved only for artists. According to an older theory, aptitude, talent and creativity can only be found in 10% of people. Aptitude is inherited and the talents develop into certain abilities under the influence of personality and the environment. Creative people were seen as highly sensitive, thoughtful, extremely intelligent, spontaneous, flexible personalities with a strong ego. The other, more modern opinion is that anyone can be creative without a lot of imagination. Creativity in this opinion is nothing difficult or mysterious. Anyone who can think can come up with new ideas. This is a skill that can be practiced, trained and learned. Some theories posit that creativity is actually a foundation of human life. Creativity is good because it encourages curiosity, imagination, interest, knowledge, independence, initiative and creates original products. Creative people have fewer negative emotions. The process of creating something new forces us to sort our emotional and rational impressions and focus on solving a particular problem, the result of which should be an original solution. Just as watching decay and hopelessness make us unhappy, so watching creation, the positive outcome of our work, or finding a new solution, makes us happy. Being creative is also popular for various health benefits. It reduces anxiety, lifts your mood and slows your heart rate. Creating something new through knitting, drawing or writing, like any task that leads to a result, actually makes you happy. And when you manage to get a result, your brain becomes flooded with a feel-good chemical that actually motivates you. It is also an effective treatment for people with dementia, reduces depression and helps people deal with their negative subconscious emotions. Painting or drawing, for example, helps people to express trauma or experiences that are currently difficult to put into words. Creativity gives us the freedom to make mistakes and a new spiritual experience helps us to become better problem solvers. In science, too, where natural relationships are actually only revealed, creativity is required in order to be able to see and understand things differently. However, most of us use creativity as a cure for boredom. There are different definitions of creativity and different reasons people are creative. Someone is creative because that is their predominant quality and identity. Others are creative to find inner peace. The third is creative because it makes them famous or popular or because this is a way to make a lot of money. Some of these reasons go together, others are mutually exclusive. It is known that the brain consumes around 20% of body's energy in normal operating mode. The process of creating authentic and original ideas is not always pleasant, requires much more energy and sometimes exhausts the body. Professions that constantly require new ideas, such as musicians, painters, sculptors or writers, often need topping consumption because human biology does not produce enough energy through food intake to be able to produce many authentic ideas in short period of time. Topping helps you think, but it creates a physiological addiction. Super original ideas pay off well and bring fame. Fame creates emotional dependence. Because of addiction and emotional dependence, some creative people sometimes live in a vicious circle that require the constant creation of new ideas. Unfortunately for us, some of them have died very early. The best known is the 27th Club. Thank you for watching, see you next time.